there's general brand strategy and general brand marketing. General brand marketing and strategy, if you have one product and that's your only product, it's simple because it, that's all you need, right? It's simple. But if you have multiple products or if you have new products coming in, then you should have a general brand strategy and then a different strategy for each of those products, theoretically, because each of those products is going to appeal to either a different market segment or a different dynamic psychographically of that market segment. And it's not going to be the same as the brand. Um, and, and you need to be aware of that. I mean, Nike is not going to go and sell the exact same ad for running shoes that they're going to sell for, for basketball shoes. It just wouldn't make sense. That would be ridiculous for them to do that. And so you need to understand for your own business how that works and applies. It, it, Procter & Gamble is the ultimate king. You need to study Procter & Gamble if you want to know the idea of branding. Okay, So Procter & Gamble has all kinds of companies, but they keep their brands in silos. They keep yep. them totally separated. I mean, they can even have, they can even have comp competition with themselves. They do such a good job. And and they've made huge amounts of money because they know that this brand is the leader in this area or this brand is maybe the number two brand in yep. this area trying to be the number one brand in this area. And so even though they're all part of Procter & Gamble, the same physical plant may make all these different products as far as their marketing goes. Every one of those products is a completely separate company. 